Oh yeah! Welcome to today's episode of My Kind of People with your show, Theodore Brown! Woo! Yeah! Okay, 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 calm down, calm down. Well, yes, as Michael, my friend, has just said, this is the first episode in my new show, My Kind of People. It's a Hawkside production, which explains the um, picture which I'm seeing now on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, that is. And um, basically, in this show, I'm going to be interviewing people who are in the public eye. You know, usually they've been in a movie or written a new book or something. So, well, without any more ado, let's get on with the show. So, my first guest is a Mr. Paper Shoe. And, um, well, basically, Mr. Paper Shoe lives four hours in the future. Yes, he is from the future. And, um, this has all been possible because we've been using second class post because it's so damn slow that it can actually, like, go through space and time and just make everything not work so um thank you the guys at the post office so tell me mr paper shoe um oh before i just start again um audience his voice is spoken by an actor by the way and we've been sending letters for ages so mr paper shoe tell me uh how is this all possible this whole future thing right well Basically, what I did was that I bought a watch from Comet, and it was a digital watch, and I set it to 12.59pm, and um, on the 30th of February, 2020, And for those of you who don't study the calendar, that is a fictitious date because a digital watch goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 0. And there is no 30th of February. So that goes to show just how rubbish Comet really is. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. I once I bought a. Hey, hey, hey. I don't care about your damn stereo or whatever you bought from there. So, I set it to this time and date. And then the room went all blue, then pink, then black, then red, then white, then that disgusting greeny, browny, muddy colour that you get when you play a Mario game and you fall in sludge, you know? Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Right, well, after it went that colour, the the chairs started dancing. Right, yes, the chairs started dancing, yeah. And then, um, basically, I got sucked into a table. A table, you got sucked into a table. Yes. I can't believe anything you're saying. I mean, it's just too ridiculous. It sounds like it's come out of a... Alice in Wonderland story. No, oh, I'm from the future! It's true! Right. Um, so, tell me, what's different there in the future? Four hours. Well, I, I do have to say that it's not great because it's only four hours. So, it's not like 400 years or anything. But the orange lights at the traffic light system they're a bit faster and because I measured them and I'm rather amazed at myself because yeah well uh, and apart from that the Satsumas they're a bit more juicy and um, Sainsbury sells leather of course and Comet shut down 
Um, apart from that, I can't. No, it's pretty much the same. Oh, by the way, Theodore, you might want to check on your mum because I've heard that she's been run over. Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, okay, guys, I have to go because I just heard there's something wrong with my mum and I need to just check on her, tell her not to go out. But thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll probably be back. He's gone. Oh, crap. Um, hi. My name's Michelle. Michelle, Cassie, Sandra, Kaylee, Louise. And I work at Hawkside Productions. And I just wanted to say thanks for listening to the podcast. And uh, obviously, we'll have to get Theodore back into the studio to uh, re to make another episode, I guess. Because I loved it. And uh, I love making it. I hope you liked listening to it. So uh, that concludes this episode. And goodbye. Oh, and here come the credits. They're rolling past really fast. It comes down and it comes down. And it's just it's just It's Tom Dalton. Okay, it's shooting past really fast. And now, I think it's supposed to be Tom Dalton. Is it? Is it? Oh, no, it's not. You said it. I can't be sure because it's going so damn fast. And now I'm going to come in. And it looks like Tom Dalton's there. And it's one. Woo! <coughs> hey, guys. Um, This is Theodore Brown. I'm just coming here to tell you that I'm really sorry about how I ran out. I had an emergency. Some things had to be dealt with. But basically, I just hope you enjoyed the show. I hope I'll be, I'll probably be making more soon. Can I also say a big thank you to Jamie Eastwell, um, producer of the Eastwell, the East Realm. And, because he pretty much, um, inspired me to do this. I mean, he didn't give me any ideas or anything. It's all mine, but he, he, he gave me the ideas, sort of. Okay, bye.